Gilead is a sad, dreadful place to go to. So we're glad to bring fans of The Handmaids take some great news for a change. The show is finally returning for a fifth season. Even before season 4 premiered, the cast confirmed the show's renewal back in December 2020. While talking with The Hollywood Reporter, showrunner Bruce Miller said, We're thrilled to be able to continue to tell these stories with our incredible cast and crew, and can't wait to be back on the air with season 4 next year. But we still don't know if it'll be the last season since, in another interview with THR, Miller admitted that he doesn't know if season 5 will be its final destination. We talked about it, and Elizabeth Moss and I have talked about it, and the writing staff and I have talked about it extensively about where we're going precisely. But I do feel like, after this year, it's a good time to reassess." In an interview for Deadline's Contenders TV Virtual, Miller continued by saying that he's not looking to end it. He feels that the team made an excellent TV show and that it's not so easy to just say, oh, you know, let's just walk away. I know what the end is and I'm not going to overstay my welcome. But I'm also not going to rush off. I don't have to because as long as I'm riding for Elizabeth Moss, it really doesn't get much better. Blessed are the make, dear. Jordan Hellman, who is in charge of the scripted originals at Hulu, said to Deadline that ending the show in creative fashion that feels organic is of great importance. He also added that they haven't found an answer yet, but he thinks that they'll be able to answer that question in the months ahead. And the answer could likely include a spin-off series centered on Margaret Atwood's latest source material. The birth of the Testaments on Hulu and the ending of The Handmaid's Tale are connected, as Hellman continued. They're also trying to figure it out as they speak, although from then it has been confirmed that season 6 is also in development. So there may be a more shocking and unwelcoming life about to happen in the tale. While we wait to see what happens, here's everything we know so far about The Handmaid's Tale Season 5. Resilience. Oh, we have to be a united front. Unfortunately, as of March 2022, there isn't a confirmed date for the premiere of the upcoming season of The Handmaid's Tale, but what we do know is that the crew is back at filming location in Ontario, Canada, to start the production. A filming announcement for the Brantford area noted that a show with the name Ruby Road was being filmed in the area from mid-February through to mid-March. It's thought that Ruby Road is the production name of The Handmaid's Tale, The Handmaid's Capes, corresponding to the title Ruby Road. Get it? Brantford is one of the multiple locations in Ontario that the show has used in the past, along with a second notice that the shooting will take place on many streets and at a private residence too. As for the neighbors, they promise to be quieter, at least in the evenings, and Dowd, who portrays Aunt Lydia, had also confirmed that the shooting would start in February 2022 to The Independent. On February 9th, Amanda Bruegel shared a video back on set that was marked Season 5 and it showed a share with her character's name, Rita, on it. Therefore, the premiere will probably be in the summer of 2022 at the earliest. Gilead is not exactly the safest place to be, and even though June has now escaped to Canada, that doesn't mean every character is suddenly out of danger. But presuming that most of the cast members will return, it seems like the following will appear in The Handmaid's Tale Season 5. Elizabeth Moss's June Osborne, Yvonne Strahovski as Serena Joy Waterford, Alexis Bledel as Emily, Madeline Brewer as Janine, Anne Dowd as Aunt Lydia, O.T. Fag Benley as Luke, Max Minghella as Nick, Samira Wiley as Moira, Bradley Whitford as Commander Lawrence, and Amanda Bruegel as Rita. The new cast member is Hawaii 5 star Christine Ko. She also plays the lead character in the comedy series Dave and will portray the recurring role of Lily. Without a doubt, Lily is set to build up the tension in the show as she's been defined as a gritty, resourceful Gilead refugee who is now a leader in the resistance movement. One major cast member, whom we know for sure won't be coming back in the present, is Joseph Fiennes as Fred Waterford. At the end of the last season, June joined her fellow survivors to take on revenge on the commander by knocking him down to death in the no man's land between Gilead and Canada. Although with all the trauma that Fred caused June, it's possible that he'll now appear and again in a flashback or as visions in June's mind. While talking to Entertainment Weekly, showrunner Bruce Miller clarified that we'll certainly, I think, we'll see Fred again. I mean, I'd die if I didn't see Joe Fiennes again. Fiennes is surely keen to continue the story via Fortress of Solitude. I would love to see an episode where we delve back into the early days to examine the headiness and support that Fred provided Serena, he said. Following how it went wrong, 
which show the corrosive effects of power, especially when you have a weaker character like Fred, who hides beneath double-breasted jackets, political positions, and mahogany desks. A new member of the Waterford family and the cast will be Serena's nameless baby, but we don't know if someone famous will be playing them in the upcoming season. And even though she was seen in two episodes so far, we're pretty sure that McKenna Grace will return to the role of Mrs. Case in season 5. Esther will need lots of help after she has been forced by Aunt Lydia to become a handmaid. It's good that she has Janine's company. Seasons 1 to 4 have given us a preview into the cruel ways of man, but what can we expect from the story in Season 5? It's difficult to know the plot details for now, even though it's certain that The Handmaid's Tale will keep on exploring June's trauma after she escapes from Gilead to Canada. And Doubt, who portrays Aunt Lydia, has already assured the fans that something dreadful will happen in the opening episodes of the season. She also added that she has already read the scripts of the first couple of episodes and that she thinks they're really good. She didn't see all that stuff coming. It was surprising to her to get to season 5 and still be thinking, what? She told The Independent, The Testaments is a sequel that happens 10 years after the first book and examines the legacy that June leaves behind in Gilead and beyond through the eyes of three women, one of whom is Anne Lydia. That feels fantastic, said Dowd of her casting during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. I'm just gonna say it right now. I thought to myself, I hope they're gonna let me play her. The problem is that if they don't, the actress who would have been chosen should watch her back because I would hunt her until she gives it up. In the meantime, June's wish for revenge could have just cost her the family she always desired to be reconnected to. In the last moments of season 4, she murders Fred and then goes home to Nicole, full of blood. Showing that she has gone too far, June asks Luke if she's allowed to have a few minutes with her child before leaving. Continuing ahead, we anticipate June to continue opposing Gilead, but from Canada with the aid of Emily and other survivors, most likely a full-out war might happen and lots of other trickery if we go in the direction of those last scenes. Just give me five minutes, okay? Just give me five minutes. On a related note, we wanted to know, what do you think the Season 5 plot of The Handmaid's Tale will be about? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.